Liam White against Alexander Povetkin. First time around, after the fight, I saw you briefly. You predicted that that was a possibility. Mm. And so you were right. It's, mm. it's, it's the way it worked out. Were you just as shocked as everybody else when it actually happened? I was upset for him. Even though I want to punch him up, I was upset for him. Because aside from the competition that me and him have, because he's in my industry, he was one step away from competing for a world title. Um, but nevertheless, he's got a rematch. Um, and if you fail the first time, you dash yourself off and you go again. So this Those are the words of Anthony Joshua. And they asked him about the upset loss of Dillian, the body snatcher white, as he simply replied, he was upset for him. You know, um, he, Dillian white, he got to a pinnacle, pinnacle of uh, success. And he was like that step away, you know, and I have to agree with what Anthony Joshua said. Again, Anthony Joshua upset for him. He said, even though I wanted to punch him out, he was still upset for him, you know, and I, I think that that's absolutely true. He Anthony Joshua wasn't the only one that felt like that. Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury felt the same way about, you know, you know, uh, John Fury, a lot of others that seen that knockout. It was like looking at someone for the last couple years fight some of the best opposition, get to this one fight before all these other fights, fight all these tough bastards, all of these tough guys, and get to a and get to this one last opponent and get stopped. And it's like looking at someone that does all these and makes all this success makes all these accomplishments and in one night with one punch it all goes away it all comes to a screeching halt okay and it's sad because it 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 was a sad thing even though i'm a i'm a boxing fan i love the i love how Povetkin delivered the punch i still understood the disappointment of everybody including Dillian White Dillian White was pissed you know, and he should be because he was the resistance of that man that wanted other people to stop their own BS and corruption. And he was that man standing in the way of that. Think about it. If it wasn't for Alexander Usyk, Dillian White had a better argument to be that guy for the WBC. So they would have to go through Dillian White and give Dillian White that opportunity. That meant Tyson Fury would probably be fighting Dillian White right now. And Dillian White would still be chomping at the heels of Tyson the Gypsy King Fury if it wasn't for that Povetkin upset. And then, you know, I believe Anthony Joshua too more than importantly than agreeing with him because Joshua was there that night. He was there at that uh, last week of, of that uh, fight camp at uh, Eddie Hearn's place, okay? He was there, and you could see, he was just like, what the hell was that? You could see him shaking his head with the disappointment of the upset. You know what I mean? Because Dillian White was making his own claim. He was a force to be reckoned with, and then that force to be reckoned with was shattered all with one uppercut, okay? And it just shows you how delicate, how realistic <laughs> boxing really is, especially heavyweight boxing, because that, that one punch, you know, he could have slipped it, you know, one boy, he's taking the left, he could have slipped it, you know, but he did not see that punch coming, and the punch you don't see takes you right out, and that's exactly what happens, but... He did say, hey, there's a rematch or whatnot. So he has that opportunity, which he does. So that's the fight tonight, or that's the, should I say, the fight this weekend that we have to look forward to, okay? And that's the fight. Dillian White versus Povetkin on the second go-round. But, um, but back to Joshua, yeah, that was a very upsetting night just to reflect on that upset. That was a bad upset. Okay, 
but people just don't, he doesn't know him losing meant so much more to so many other people, despite Joshua. Because, you know, Joshua, if he would have beat Povetkin, Dillian White would have came in a way, he would have been that other hurdle. He would have been that guy, that obstacle that stopped a potential undisputed fight because of reckonings and things that have to be done through uh, the ways of a determined individual like Dillian White. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Anthony Joshua showing his uh, opinion about the upset of Dillian White. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.